Hey guys, Mohan Bobert here and today I'm going to share with you how to stop being lazy and get more things done. Let's get to it. Hey guys, Mohan Bobert here and if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about me sharing, documenting my journey as someone being involved in more than 10 businesses, million dollar businesses. I'm here to share with you my lessons, my mistakes, things that worked for me and made me money, things that didn't work for me and lost me money. And I'm also here to show you that you can buy an existing profitable business and you can also grow your existing business by going out there and buying other complementary businesses. And it's probably going to cost you the same amount of money to start a business from scratch as it is to go and buy a million dollar business. Because when you buy an existing profitable business, you can use their existing business assets and things like accounts receivables, inventory, real estate, and use them as a leverage to pay for the acquisition cost. This is what this channel is all about. It's also, in my opinion, the fastest way to grow your business because there's only so many sales, only so much sales and marketing you can do. That's why you see Facebook buying companies like WhatsApp and Instagram because that's the only way to grow as fast as they can to meet their shareholders' demands. So this is what this channel is all about. Subscribe to the channel if you didn't yet. I promise you won't regret it. And go to moanpaber.com forward slash quiz to see how you can work with us. But either way, let's get to today's topic, which is how to actually get things done and stop being lazy. So to begin with, many people will tell you, hey, you got to create a vision board and you got to read your affirmations 20 times a day and you got to have goals and yearly goals and monthly goals and lifetime goals and all those different things that in the end of the day, in my opinion, are getting you or giving you excuses on why not to do actual things that are important that will actually get things done, if that makes sense. So yeah, creating vision boards, it's great. And creating affirmations, there's something great about that as well, because your mind, to change your mind, you need to rehearse things again and again and again. And yes, to some extent that helps. I know people though, that are literally changing their goals every week. They're changing their affirmations every week. They're creating new vision boards every week. They're imagining their life, ideal life every day. Uh, but then when it comes to actually executing on things, they're doing nothing. Now, here are my thoughts about that. To begin with, I think that vision boards, as much as having nice cars and a nice house and going to nice vacations, I think in the end of the day, maybe it's a good initial motivation. But at some point, especially when you're making some, I guess, decent amount of money, then that won't get you motivated to continue to work hard. Because, I mean... Heck, I, I travel all around the world pretty much and there's only so much, I guess, pina coladas that you can drink on the beach. At some point, you're just getting bored and you want to do something. What I learned in life and what you're probably going to learn eventually if you didn't yet is that you are more satisfied and fulfilled when you're taking action, when you're basically being the producer in your life, the person who's taking initiative versus the person who's consuming all the time and listening and learning the best times and the best fulfillment that you get is by expressing yourself and taking action by creating things in the world, if that makes sense. And having material goals are, is not going to satisfy you for a long time, the long term. Having a nice car is cool, but it's not going to wake you up again and again to have the next nice car, if that makes sense. And I think in the end of the day, what it comes down to is about your creative expressions and about the contribution for others. So if it's helping to begin with your closed loved ones, if your family, your significant others, your kids, if you have, and eventually to even help larger amounts of people, um, to help other business owners, to help other potential customers, and to, to help a specific market. So it's all about contribution and helping. And when you have that in mind, that's what's going to give you the real drive to wake up and actually produce things that will add value to people. And when you're adding value to people, that's how you're actually getting things done. And trust me, there's the quote that says, hey, help enough people achieve what they want. And you will eventually, most definitely, will achieve what you want. So that's what it comes down to. When you're selfish and only focus about yourself, um, uh, th th there's only so much results that you can get. In my opinion, even when you're getting those results, you'll see you're not as fulfilled as you are when you're actually helping other people. And to also put that in the same, uh, I guess, same place is the fact that you also really need to focus about your habits. So I don't care how good are your goals, unless you have the right habits day to day, 
It's going to make sure that you're going to take the best next action. It's going to be really hard to produce those results. And the best way to make sure you're doing those habits again and again and again is to literally gamify, to kind of like gamify your life, if that makes sense. Make your life kind of like a game. Make your life as a, 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 a makes kind of like a game where every time you're taking the right habit, you have some kind of a reward that you're going to get something from it. Even it's to begin with, even it's just like a piece of chocolate. Whenever you do something that is good, that's moving you forward to your, towards your goals, and whenever you do something that is outside your comfort zone, that's, in my opinion, some of the best ways to build habits. Like, literally, think about what is that. So if it's working out or getting in shape, every time you work out, which is the habit of getting in shape, have a small piece of chocolate after you work out. And trust me, that, that small piece of chocolate won't destroy your your um, weight goals or, um, um, yeah, health goals, if that makes sense. And it's going to build you a habit that eventually will get you addicted to the process of working out. And at some point after 30 or 60 days, when you're really addicted to the habit of working out, you won't need the chocolate anymore because your body is going to sense the feeling of, hey, whenever I'm doing that, I feel good because I'm, I'm expecting the chocolate uh, after the the event and there's a great book about it that the habit um i always forget the name but yeah something about the, the habit code i think yeah so great book if you didn't read it yet really really life-changing uh concept at least I don't, i'm not sure you need to really get into the details in the book but the concepts of the book are, are amazing and can really life change you so yeah that's those are my thoughts guys remember it's about you want to achieve more and be less lazy have and bigger goals and bigger goals are about other people not just yourself don't be selfish thinking about other people and make sure you have the habits to back up your huge goals so yeah that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed it if you want to work with me and my team and learn how you can buy your first existing profitable business or how to grow your existing business by acquisitions go to moanpover.com forward slash quiz see the details there if you have a small business if you have an existing business that's doing above million and you want to grow it even uh, faster by buying other businesses around you go there and see the details or see the details in the description below <clears throat> sorry so yeah that's it for today guys I, I hope you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you didn't yet like the video comment below let me know what you think what do you think is the biggest thing you can do to stop being lazy i would love to see your thoughts and that's it i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you soon